Good afternoon, this is Gabriel Jacket, and welcome to BJC Mitzvah Day number 39, part two. Using the Sefer Chinuch, a mitzvah that keeps your soul on its way. And once again, we want to thank each and every one of you who've already participated in the annual BJC Triple Match campaign. All your donations are tripled. So if you haven't donated yet, go online right after this mitzvah day and donate. We'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, of course, if you could do 916, which is 1% of our goal, we'll get there much faster. But any donation is very much appreciated. Okay, here we go. Continuing, once again, the prohibition to make images even for decoration. The Chinuch proceeds to explain the difference between this prohibition and the prohibition stated above in Mitzvah number 27. Now, with respect to the prohibition of you shall not make for yourself a carved image, which was cited previously in Mitzvah number 27, its focus is to command that we not make any image when its purpose is to be an object of worship. This prohibition here, by contrast, refers specifically to the image of a human being and commands that we not make such an image at all, even for the purpose of decoration. The purpose of this mitzvah, the purpose of this prohibition is to distance idol worship. The laws of this mitzvah include, for example, what the rule is in a case where one makes the image of a human with one limb missing or with an extra limb. This law and the additional details of this mitzvah are elaborated in the third chapter of Tractate of Odazar. Chinuch discusses other possible applications of this prohibition. Now, in Tractate Sanhedrin, the sages of blessed memory said that this prohibition includes other matters as well. But actually, the primary subject of the prohibition is what we mentioned, i.e. making forbidden images, and that is what the sages said in Mechilta. The prohibition... This prohibition applies in every location and in all times and is incumbent upon both men and women. One who transgresses this pro prohibition and makes the image of a person, even for decoration, has transgressed a commandment of the king. That is to say, he's committed a sin, but it does not carry liability for lashes. Thanks for listening. That was your mitzvah to sponsor. Forget the sponsorship. Just donate online for a triple match. Every donation is amazing. Mwah! Love you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow.